The Walking Dead is one of the biggest and most expansive zombie genre franchise ever with multiple seasons and a lot of different spin-off shows emerging from it and branching out of it. In this post-apocalyptic scenario, the world has collapsed and humanity has been brought to the brink of extinction, all caused by a pathogen called the wildfire virus that turns the infected into zombies, into undead walkers. And to add to it, over the years, over the many years, there arose different variants of these undead walkers in the world. So here in this video, we will showcase the 10 deadliest walker variants and discuss a bit on each. So let's get to it. At number 10, we have the Moss Zombies. These are the leaves of the zombies and they are called so due to them being in that undead state for several years, leading to moss and plant growth growing all over their bodies. These walkers, due to their advanced stages of decomposition and calcification, are next to useless in a hunt and can be killed with ease. They are slow and some of them have even become immobile and starting to return to the soil as biomass. But one unlucky bite can still infect any person and turn them into a fresh zombie. Number 9. Roamers Roamers are the most common type of zombies in the Walking Dead universe, named for their constant wandering in search for food. They are slow, unintelligent and tend to group together in herds. These herds can merge together with others, creating large and dangerous gatherings that have been responsible for devastating attacks on communities like Alexandria. Among them are variants who remember aspects of their lives before they died and will roam to find people, places and objects that they recognize. When a roamer detects a potential male, it will relentlessly pursue it until either losing interest or consuming another target. Roamers are the primary cause of zombie-related deaths in the United States within the Walking Dead narrative. Number 8. The Lurker Variants Lurkers are a unique variant distinguished by their ability to enter a state of death-like dormancy, remaining inert until they are alerted by an external presence, at which point they will swiftly attack, effectively setting up a trap for their unsuspecting prey. This behavior adds a deceptive layer to their already dangerous nature, making them a sudden threat in encounters. Interestingly, lurkers can be triggered into action after being hit with immense force or by the scent of blood. This ability to feign death and then strike unexpectedly adds a level of unpredictability to their behavior, making them a particularly dangerous menace to face. They are also one of the most common encountered variant. Number 7. Protectors In the death sector, Dr. Shawnee Everett identified a distinct variant exhibiting caregiving tendencies towards their herd. These walkers prioritize the safety and the welfare of their zombie group, surprisingly even above all their other considerations, which is kind of surprising granted the fact that they are all undead. This shows that the particular type of zombie had developed or had retained an instinct to provide for their herd. This might also point to a slight increase or possession of limited intelligence, therefore providing the specimen with a goal or a meaning to their existence, something higher than just the basic instinct to feed. Number 6. The Climber Variants these climbers are a specialized variant distinguished by their remarkable ability to scale walls, to manipulate objects and even operate doors. Their exceptional strength and problem-solving intelligence set them apart as one of the most dangerous types of variants encountered. Their agility as well and their adaptability in navigating obstacles and accessing otherwise inaccessible areas to other walkers make them a formidable threat to survivors. They are deadlier than the previous ones and can be considered a high-level threat. Number 5. The Radiation Walkers Seen in Fear of the Walking Dead, these radioactive walkers were a set of variants caused by a power plant meltdown in Texas. Walkers in the vicinity of this meltdown were contaminated with high levels of radiation, but because of their undead status, it didn't kill them. The nuclear apocalypse had already been challenging enough as it is, and with the radiation affecting the area, these zombies kind of took the trait in them. The addition of these zombies carrying the fallout on their bodies makes the situation even more dangerous for the survivors. Their bodies seem to possess blisters and mutated outgrowths, maybe due to the fallout. Number 4. Burner Walkers These burner variants are a distinct ones known for their unique trait of possessing acidic blood. Any individual who is bitten, touched or otherwise comes into contact with this corrosive substance suffers significant burns. Encountered exclusively in France, burners are relatively common variants in this region. So when dealing with injuries inflicted by these burners, appropriate medical attention is crucial. Cauterization of the wounds is often cited as the most effective method for treating caused by their acidic blood. Failure to address these injuries promptly can lead to the spread of the acid, potentially resulting in the loss of limbs or otherwise even more severe consequences. Number 3. Hybrids these are a distinct category of variants engineered through the experimental work of Dr. Lefleur. 
easily identified by their characteristic black eyes, hybrids inherit the enhanced attributes of cohorts including heightened speed, strength, aggression, and durability. Noteworthy variations among hybrids have been observed, with one example exhibiting the climbing abilities and augmented durability beyond typical cohorts, also seen in climbers. Another hybrid demonstrated a mutation resulting in the acidic blood akin to that of a burner. Such mutations underscore the experimental nature of these hybrids, with one particularly aggressive individual even resorting to attacking and dismantling the head of another hybrid. Despite their formidable capabilities, the hybridization process remains imperfect. Some injected walkers experience immediate head explosions, bypassing the mutation phase entirely. Number 2. The Walker King Known as the Walker King, this zombie likely laid decaying in the sewers since the apocalypse onset. It was bloated and grotesque. It had absorbed other walkers into its body, resembling a rat king, a phenomenon where rats become entangled with their tails and they fuse together, working in unison. While its name draws parallels to the rat king from The Last of Us Part 2, it also shares similarities with that creature, although this one is kind of unique from The Walking Dead. So encountering the walker king was fresh and terrifying. Discovered in the Manhattan sewers, the walker king was a conglomeration of multiple walkers fused together. Initially dormant, like a lurker, it became active when alerted by Maggie Ree and proved exceptionally fast and strong in combat against her. To defeat it, she had to target and eliminate each of the different heads, a challenging task that required a considerable effort and skill. And number 1. The French Cohort Variant Cohorts represents a unique class of variants distinguished by their superior attributes, including heightened agility, uh, increased speed, increased strength, uh, more intelligence and durability. Of a particular note is their remarkable ability to resurrect a mere 30 seconds or less than that after being killed. It is considered one of the most perilous or dangerous variants, second only to the hybrids in strength but more than them in stability of the mutation. Cohorts are the main dangers in France. Their exceptional durability represents a formidable challenge for the survivors as they can endure severe blows to their head that would otherwise incapacitate other walkers. However, despite their resilience, Cohorts can still be permanently neutralized by effectively penetrating their brain with a larger weapon. Lastly, here is a notable mention of a very dangerous walker known as Winslow, who was fitted with metal spikes all over his body and a steel helmet with spikes as well that made him near unkillable in the arena. But he is just one individual and not a type of walker, so yeah, he was not included in the list. And therefore with that, we come to the end of the video on the 10 deadliest zombie variants of the Walking Dead shows. Now if you like this video then watch this other one as well and if you want to browse for other monster content, check out our channel, we have things that you might haven't seen before. Like, subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Take care fam.